No, I'm not doing it. I already did that Rainbow Bright thing a few years ago. That's my quota of girls shows for the next 10 years. I... What? Titmouse? Really? Huh. Fine, I'll do it. Hanazuki is a show that premiered on YouTube on January 12th, brought to us by Hasbro, who are no doubt trying to find the next cash cow once My Little Pony inevitably runs out of steam. It's not going to last forever, bronies. You better be ready. What I found interesting was the show was co-produced by Titmouse, the production company that brought us shows like Metalocalypse, Venture Brothers, and Super Jail. Going outside our comfort zone, I see. So the show takes place in this weird, trippy galaxy, where a random moon is taken care of by Hanazuki, voiced by Jessica DeSico, who you might recognize as Flame Princess from Adventure Time. Hanazuki is a being called a Moonflower, and she takes care of the moon by planting these items given to her by this floating space baby called Little Dreamer, and the items have to be activated using her emotions. And she throws them on the ground and they grow trees with weird faces. Very imaginative, I'll give it that. She also looks after the creatures that live on the moon, most of which are assholes. Specifically these weird multicolored rabbit things called hempkas that are always causing trouble no matter how hard she tries to keep them in line. So as weird as this show is, it just seems like a harmless little kid's show, right? No, it's not. Because they establish that there's this creeping dark force that exists in their galaxy that robs all of the moons of their life. It's kind of like what Galactus was in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, except it's actually very threatening and not stupid. It's the Moonflower's job to continuously plant those trees, which keeps the Dark Force at bay. And I gotta admit, it does add a very unsettling element to this show. So while there are moments in the show where they do the whole cliched thing where someone will say, You did it, Hanazuki, because you believed in yourself. And everything seems to be fine, but at all times, imminent doom is like, right there. Just waiting for them to screw up. In fact, there are a few times where the thing almost devours their moon because they couldn't plant the trees in time. And they even show what happened to other moons that got devoured. In fact, they even go to one and... Man, this show can get pretty messed up. You know, as much as I've been praising the show for its surprisingly dark undertones and things like that, it does seem like a lot of it is taken from other stuff. Like, a lot of the visuals do remind me of Wander Over Yonder and Adventure Time. The whole idea of emotionally driven powers, which is not a new thing, but recently made popular by Steven Universe. And in fact, while we're taking things from Steven Universe, why don't we have a literal talking diamond in the show? Yes, this is a character. And of course, it has a lot of themes like friendship and teamwork and all that, which is like every Hasbro thing ever. So... Yeah, while its premise is pretty original, at its core, it really doesn't do a whole lot of new things. But you know what? I do recommend people check it out. It has some really cute characters, some really great visuals, the dark undertones are really cool, so it's not bad. As of this video, there are only 18 episodes out, and they're going to release more, which is great, because that last episode I saw was really intriguing. And in fact, they're releasing the episodes in accordance with the lunar calendar, which... I guess is really cool. You can watch the whole thing on Hasbro's YouTube page, so check it out. But that's all I got for Hanazuki. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of it. My name is Rob, and have a wonderful day.